minute uh, reviews. My camera phone here, it's the first time I'm doing it. It's only got five minutes on the video, so I'm going to try and squeeze it all in in five minutes. This is the Lixada combined wood and alcohol burning camping stove. So you get it straight out of the box. A couple of lovely pouches. This is the alcohol burner. This is really nice sort of felt feel to it. It's quite nice. And this is your actual square box stove. Okay. So stainless steel, this one, not titanium. So first up, we'll get it straight in the scales and see what we've got weight wise. So for the actual box stove, we've got 209 grams with the pouch. Alcohol burner, 114 grams. So combined weight with pouches, everything all in, 324 grams. Not too bad. Okay, let's crack straight on. See how easy it is to put together straight off. Okay. Okay, a bit of sandpaper there. I think that's probably for cleaning it up when you get, uh, you know, when it blackens up and whatnot. This blue, I think, is a film on it just to protect it. So, you know, in transit, which is quite a nice touch. Um, so let's try just popping it together like that. Folds out. There you go, and the pin goes straight in. I don't know whether it's best to put these two plates in before or after, but let's try it this way first. This is the bottom plate. We've got our bottom plate here that slots into, see these two grooves over the side, and there's a little bit of flex and bend in this metal, but it's not flimsy, it's, it's, yeah, it's really nice, quite sturdy. So that went in, treat. This is your top alcohol burner. See how that goes in, slide it straight there, slide it down, so it pops into, into that groove, look at that, straight in, that's alright, quite happy with that, that seems quite sturdy, so this is your front box, this is where you put your wood in, in here, your bottom burn plate there, and then your top, your top ring there to take your your alcohol burner. So let's have a look at that. Right, so it's quite a nice pouch, this sort of velvety. So we've got a top cap, which I think just pulls off, yep. Yeah. And that this little slider here is so that you can you can regulate your, your heat. So you can put a simmer, I think, so that you just you know either have it on full or where well, you'd leave it off. But you can put this on and just simmer. And also acts as a snuff cap, I think, to put it out at the end. Okay. Now, the other reason I went for this is because it has a screw top here. And a nice rubber seal there. And that's quite tight on. So, after you've had your burn, if you've still got some fuel left in there, you can just put your cap on. And hopefully, it won't leak. And away you go. So there's no decanting back into your bottle and whatnot. So that comes off a treat. A little pilot holes all around the edge. And let's see how well it fits in. And it just slots in. Look at that. that. Lovely. There you go. So hopefully squeezed all that in five minutes. I shall give it a go and uh, come back with a review once I've got it going so but yeah first impressions looks really good I like the combined nature of it so you're not limited to just one or the other so I'd like to cook with with wood myself where possible but if that's not possible a little bit of uh, alcohol in there probably use meths I suppose and uh, burn up that way so we see how it goes thanks for watching